Baltimore City firefighters hopping aboard as they head to their next task for what could soon be their final dispatch in Picktown on Engine 55. It's one of two city fire engines slated to shut down due to budget cuts. The other one, Engine 4, on Cold Spring Lane in North Baltimore. You have the money now. They put it in the budget. Just save these these companies alone. We don't want any closures. Like I said, we are at bare minimum. We can't afford it. Now things are heating up. As union firefighters and some council members went door to door in Pigtown on Wednesday to get as many people as they can to sign a petition. Something Peggy Adams was eager to do as she credits her neighborhood firefighters for saving her husband's life. And he was on the floor and I was like, what happened to you? And he was like, I didn't, I must have drank my other dose and I didn't know it. Because I flatlined and everything and they saved me and brought me back. The two engines on the chopping block are responsible for specific equipment and most importantly, they bring water to fires. The stations, however, will remain opened and staffed, but nearby engines would just have to cover when needed. And even in a global pandemic, we are facing some of the, you know, highest rates of, of chronic health disease with and substance abuse in Pigtown alone. Fire Chief Roman Clark telling us two weeks ago the cuts had to be done. We are almost like at eight million dollars over budget due to overtime. With the fiscal year already started, the two engines are still being used, though for how long remains the question. Well, Steve and I have been in constant contact with the chief. And as of today, he still does not have a hard date. And another rally is set for tomorrow, this time at the Baltimore Fire Station in North Baltimore. Live downtown, I'm Trey Ward, WBAL-TV, 11 News.